there's new reporting out from The New York Times here in just the last few minutes that two of the top Trump era White House lawyers uh, have been interviewed now by the FBI in relation to, you know, handling these these Trump documents, this classified material that may have been taken from the White House. Uh, Pat Cipollone and, and Pat Philbin, we have not confirmed this here at NBC News, but explain to us and help us understand how big a deal this would be, considering how high ranking these two former officials are and the roles that they had as it relates to the National Archives. Sure, Howie. Well, so they are high-ranking White House counsel officials, Pat Cipollone, the White House counsel, and Pat Philbin, one of his deputies. Uh, they were uh, named to be sort of the interface, the go-between between the White House and the National Archives in the waning days of the Trump administration, which means they would have been responsible to try and get the documents to the right place in the right way and the right people. Um, so a big, important job. Uh, and uh, they were senior White House officials. I will say this. I worked with Fat Pat Philbin closely a number of years ago at the Department of Justice. Uh, and that's him on your screen right there. And uh, three observations about Pat Philbin. He's brilliant. He's honest. Uh, and on the matter that we work together involving highly classified materials, scrupulously careful. Hmm. He will tell the truth. And that's important. Um, Ken, let me go to you on the bigger picture of all this, right? Because this is all happening and we're learning this new information again, reported by The Times just, what, 48 hours or so before we expect to hear from the government on Thursday or at least to hear arguments in front of the government Thursday on why this affidavit overall should not be released. How's that going to look? How's that going to go down? Well, lawyers for NBC News and other news organizations are going to argue why we believe the document should be unsealed. But the Justice Department made a forceful case yesterday for why they say that unsealing this document in unredacted form would really compromise their investigation. And in doing that, they really uh, made some revelations about the nature of this investigation. They made it pretty clear that this isn't just about getting the classified documents back. They said there's, there's an ongoing grand jury information involving multiple witnesses, some of whose identities they do not want disclosed. Um, and, and so the idea that they were interviewing senior White House officials is consistent with that. Um, they are saying that this is an ongoing criminal matter and that disclosure of this search warrant affidavit would compromise their investigation, Howie. Chuck, from a legal perspective, how might the judge react now to the, the arguments that not just the Department of Justice, but those on the other side of the issue, including NBC News, will be making? Right. So if the Department of Justice can make a, a compelling, good faith um, showing that they have legitimate law enforcement reasons to keep it sealed, the judge should keep it sealed. Um, it's really rather simple in that respect. Now, the judge will have three options to keep it sealed fully, to unseal it fully, and then Ken referred to an important sort of middle ground or hybrid option, which is to unseal it but with redactions. But as long as there is a legitimate law enforcement purpose to keeping it sealed, it makes sense for the judge to keep it sealed. You can see why, logically, uh, the Trump folks want it unsealed. The Department of Justice has said that making it public at this point would undermine their investigation. What would, like, what would the Trump folks like to do? Undermine the investigation. How do they do that? By getting mm. the document unsealed at this point. So uh, the judge ought to be very careful. Uh, my two cents as a former federal prosecutor is he ought to defer um, to the Department of Justice on the sensitivity of the case. Uh, and, you know, at, by the way, at some point, I'm sure we will see it. If the government loses, by the way, Hallie, before the federal magistrate judge in West Palm Beach, they can take an appeal to a United States district court judge. So even if uh, NBC and the Trump folks get a favorable ruling, uh, a ruling to unseal it, we may not see it immediately.